So, we've come down today from Social Breakfast to interview you about the elected city mayor for Birmingham. Proposal. You've come out very strongly to say that you think this would be a bad thing for Birmingham. And you've also described an elected city mayor as a power freak. Could you explain to us why? Yeah, the, the idea is, at the moment, we, we have a system where there's a city leader who is accountable all the time. That is, if the city leader goes haywire and does really stupid things, the council can remove the city leader. The proposal is to have somebody who's elected for four years, who can do whatever they feel like for four years, and only can be removed after the four years, so you can't get rid of them in the meantime. And the danger with that is, it's like any system, it makes it easier for that one person. They have all the power, they can make decisions. But... It goes wrong. Those sorts of systems, which are dictators or power freak systems, tend to go wrong. Um, I was talking to some, a group of young people in Birmingham, one of whom was from the Philippines last week, and she says, yes, you know, they have an elected mayor system in the Philippines, and everyone knows who the mayor is, but they know how corrupt the system is as well. And I think politics has to be about what you do, and not who the people are, but what the policies are. So it's been suggested that having a single leader for the city would actually be quite positive in that they would be incredibly accountable as an individual, making it easier for, for example, young people to approach them and hold them to account for the promises they made. Yes, but the, the point is that that accountability is only after four years. And if you've got one person elected across the whole of the city, there's about a million people in the city. They, but the only people, you can, you can look at it, the Chamber of Commerce are very enthusiastic about this because they know that they would be able to have more influence over what goes on because they represent wealthy people and the, the mayor would listen to them. And my concern is about democracy. I would like everybody in the city to have the same power, the same ability to influence things, regardless of how much money they've got. Um, because I believe in that sort of principle, of equality before the law. And democracy isn't about how wealthy you are, it should be about what's right for society as a whole. So the current system is actually quite difficult for young people to approach um, leaders of Birmingham. Could you give them any advice about the best way to approach yourself and other decision makers? Well, I, I have an advice bureau on Saturdays, which I don't have appointments and anyone can turn up. I actually go around primary schools and talk to children there. But if anyone wants to come to my advice bureau, who lives in Yardley, please, not those outside, uh, it's between 11 and 12 on a Saturday, every Saturday here at 1772 Coventry Road. There's been suggestions that an elected city mayor would raise the profile of Birmingham as a British city. How do you feel about that? Well, obviously it becomes a celebrity contest. If you look at the you know, Boris and Ken contest in London, you end up with something that focuses on the individuals. So uh, an elected mayor tends to be more of a celebrity than um, a leader of the city. But... It's all a question of what you want, what, whether it's important about the policies. You, you get more column inches written, you get more things written in the newspapers, but is that good if, if the mayor does things you don't like? One of the biggest problems that we've found for young people is understanding how an elected mayor would actually directly affect them, and that's because the powers are unknown. Well, the powers aren't entirely unknown. They're, they're the powers of the executive of the City Council. So if you look up the Cabinet reports for any Cabinet meeting of the City Council, those are powers that would then fall within the power of one person rather than the Council. But do you agree that it's part of your campaign is that it's actually quite difficult for normal people to understand how this actually might affect them on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, th there are uncertainties because the government has talked about giving the council more powers, if whether or not there's actually an elected mayor. And without being clear as to what they are, it's quite difficult. I also think it would be a bad idea to have somebody in control of Bromsgrove who's elected in Birmingham. So the other one proposal was to put the city mayor as, as chair of the local enterprise partnership. That covers Bromsgrove, Tamworth... Litchfield, Redditch, Birmingham, Surly Hull. Uh, my belief is that if people are being controlled by a, an elected official, they should have a vote in who that elected official is. They shouldn't be just treated as a colony. And I think that proposal is a really bad idea. So for most of the young people in the city, their key concerns are public transport, education and jobs. Yeah. Could you maybe give us a brief overview of 
Well, public how you tra- think yeah. an elected city mayor would impact on those three well, key the, areas? Well, the unlikely public transport will remain as part of the West Midlands Transport Authority. The big issue, actually, is we, we need a better system of bus regulation. It's the buses that are the main thing. I don't think people have got so many concerns about the trains, but the bus system is actually quite unreliable. Um, and what we need is a system like in London where you have sector tendering, but that's a legislative change at a national level, not something that can be implemented just by having a directly elected mayor. Uh, jobs, m- very important issue. Youth unemployment is a scandal. We, we, we need to get people into work. There's no question about that. And obviously encouraging businesses to set up in Birmingham would be useful. That has been done very successfully in the past. Um, you know, If you go back 100 years ago, we had a very successful record compared to other cities around the world. That was without a directly elected mayor, of course. Um, so the, the, an education very much now is devolved to the schools, so it isn't so much an issue where the elected mayor would have an effect anyway.